When I was making the predictably random video, it became obvious that the humanize and randomize features, although incredibly useful, they're pretty dumb when they're applied to effect commands. And what I mean by this is they are not contextually aware. And so it would be better if they actually took a few things into account when making changes. And these are some of the ideas I would have for that. First thing is that the variants of the effect commands in the volume and panning columns, they're just not affected by humanize or randomize at all. It seems like a big oversight and that should just be corrected. Next, the C, Q and R commands, they don't have their values changed at all. I assume this is because they depend on the ticks per line value. And so there was probably some hesitancy about making those changes just because that can vary during the course of a song or changes may be made to it later on. But the thing is, the humanize and randomize processes could detect what the current TPL uh, value is and make changes within that available range. And it really doesn't matter if the TPL is changed later on, either within the song or by the user in the song options, since any values above the maximum TPL just behave all in the same manner anyway. So any changes would be moot, then there's no actual problems caused by this. The third issue affects quite a lot of things, and it can have some serious effects. When using randomize, it forces the second value of the effect command to always be zero. Uh, this also happens for the volume, panning, and delay values. Obviously, this means that it's not maximally random. You would want both of the values to be randomized instead of just one of them but it also causes some severe problems for many effect commands. The A, V, T, N, C and R commands, they use two values separately, X, Y. So when setting that second value Y to zero all the time, that means that you'll always be playing the same X variant of Y being zero. So it's kind of useless. And yes, I mentioned C and R before, but I'm just mentioning them here because they also use X, Y. And so we'd want them to be changed in the same way here. The S, Z, X and the J commands, they target specific things. And most of the time, only the second value is actually useful since you won't have that many things to target. So always setting it to zero it effectively renders these commands kind of worthless. J in particular, which is for track routing, I think we could just ignore that altogether, not make any changes. Don't really know why you would want to change the track routing. Uh, for X, which stops particular effect devices, or all of them with the zero value, you could quite easily detect how many effects there currently are in the track and then uh, randomize or humanize within that maximum value. And then if changes are made later on, uh, more or less effects, then either those later effects wouldn't be targeted by uh, the existing humanize or randomize process which was made beforehand, or it would just not target anything. So there's no problem. Uh, same with Z, you can detect how many phrases there are within the instrument that's been targeted and just do the same thing there. With S, it's a wee bit trickier because this can target different things. Normally, uh, it's just how many slices you're targeting within the sample. So 0, 0 to FF. If 
there's slice markers, then detect how many markers there are. That's no problem as well. And if you're targeting a phrase, then you can detect what the current phrase is that you're targeting and how many lines there are within it. Of course, it does have a limit of 256 because you only have 00 to FF. But that's something you can work within. Next up is the B backwards, ZG uh, groove, and X00Y, where you turn an effect device on or off. These are all toggles, and so it's kind of silly to only target the first value, because uh, 15 times out of 16, you'll just be turning them on. And then only on the occasion that you get a 00, zero will you be turning them off. This is very easy to fix when you detect that these commands are being targeted by human eyes and randomize, just restrict the value range to 00 or 01. And finally, this is a silly idea I had, but it's not related to human eyes or randomize as the processes actually are, it's something brand new. What if instead of using the existing characters, we could use instead question marks? So this wouldn't be something that's set in place. It wouldn't be something like the why maybe command. This would be selecting something at random as the line has gone down and the effect command encountered. So if used in the vol pan delay columns, you could have question mark, question mark and that would select a value at random as that uh, instrument and effect command are played. In the effect command columns themselves, you could have the effect command and question mark, question mark. That would select them at random, and this would have different effects if for the X and Y commands. Uh, that is the ones that use separate X and Y, the A, V, T, N, C and R commands. Even more stupidly, you could do something like question mark, question mark, question mark. That is, randomly selecting what the effect command itself is. Probably a bit too nutty for selecting from all of them, uh, though it might work for uh, selecting within the particular types. Uh, pitch, volume, uh, playback, etc. Quite how that would work, I don't know. It's just a dumb idea. But it could be fun to have as an option going forward.